Hi friends, welcome to Perceptional Healing Level 1. This is Dr. Karthi Gupta. Uh, good afternoon sir. Like I've been uh, learning PH methods since April 2020. I got introduced to Karthi sir. And then there has been lots of uh, changes, small, small shifts and just brought me to this level. I would like to, uh, though I had many experiences, I would like to talk about experiences which she uh, shared recently. One is I was, I always used to avoid sunlight. So when we had a direct session in uh, Chennai, uh, sir made us, it was in a very natural serene settings, full of greenery and all. So sir made us to sit directly under sunlight on the clock. I was, uh, I was not very comfortable. I was like uh, saying Vamsi Priya who was besides me telling her like I'm having itching, I'm not able to sit in the sunlight, says that and uh, but just smiled and then that first day I had uh, lots of itching. I was very, very uncomfortable. I was not at all there. Then like sir made us it as a practice, like I'm currently in uh, PH level 4, we have various techniques. So like one of the techniques is to that Sun Mandala meditation which is in level 2. So like uh, there uh, when we start, when I started practicing, I started uh, loving going out in sun and then like earlier I used to get severe headache or migraine or whatever, probably I was thinking all those things. But after this session that changed radically and then that was one that was my uh, first thing. And then another one, like uh, during this pandemic, my uh, friend's husband, he was in Kerala and then he was tested positive and then they were not allowing him to, uh, even after the recovery, they were testing something. <laughs> Every time whenever he was getting tested, it was showing us positive. Uh, five or six times that has happened. She, they were very frantic, like I mean, almost a month or so he had to stay back without his family. So then like after initially, I uh, introduced her to the PH methods and then Sarah uh, spoke to her also. And then like uh, taught her a few techniques. We all did some Q field and things like that. And then immediately the next time when he was tested, uh, like he was tested negative and then he could come back to his hometown and joined his family because they were having lots of agony. He could not get good food and care and things like that. So that's one. Another one is like uh, one day, uh, like a uh, good ending story, sir used to inculcate all those things, made us to read lots of good such book. One is Tripura Ragasya. One is listening to Yutaganda and Ramayana and other things. One day he was talking about Neem Karoli Baba. Somehow I was drawn to him. During this vacation, I had been to Nainital where the Kenchi Dam of Neem Karoli Baba is there. Steve Jobs and almost all people have visited there. So like I had to catch a train to Delhi from Nainital. It's uh, like almost time. So I was spending um, time in that uh, all those lakes and all they have got they got beautiful lakes and now Kuchidal and so many other places. I was interested in taking photos. My husband was shouting, "Let's go, let's go!" And then it was almost time that traffic was very huge. Like all the sites, it was stranded and we couldn't reach. And it was almost time. We were almost certain. My husband was almost certain that we will be missing the train. I did queue feel calmly and then like first station, the, we had missed the train. So driver was very smart enough, uh, took us to the next station and then like when we were entering the station, the train also had just entered. Immediately we removed our luggage and then driver uh, helped us to uh, board the train and then we could uh, board the train. The moment we boarded the train, it started to, it was Shadapti, like I mean it is not a local train or something where it would stay. Uh, I mean uh, like uh, in all the stations it will not be a uh, lighting. So that yeah. is one more thing. And then like uh, sir always used to say my, uh, then same way like moonlight, I always spend some time in the moonlight in the evening. So like during the full moon, especially we used to leave water, rice or something. Sir used to say the, to cook food of the rice on the next day or something to have the energy of the moon thing. So that is one experience. I mean, where I'm, I'm basically going to talk about all the three which he covered, the fire, the sun and the moon. <coughs> Same way, I'm very fond of Jale Agnya. That has also helped me to do many things. And then one more thing, like Sir always used to say, what you resist, persist. So like uh, that time, I mean, I have come to a stage, uh, like I've started accepting. One classic example would say like, uh, yesterday or day before I was talking with Sir, his nose was fully blocked. I said, uh, Sir, you seem to be having a very severe cold. He said, I'm accepting it. I have the cold and things like that. And then today I don't find any traces of he having any cold or something. He is like uh, quite normal. Yesterday, I mean, at this stage, I mean, I spoke to him in the evening or something only. His nose was blocked and he couldn't even talk much. Today he has got very clear and uh, that shows like, I mean, uh, personally, uh, having known him, I know the kind of struggles which he has faced during the Corona period and what he has done <laughs> to this level. 
so uh, like uh, sir uh, generally made us to accept things and then uh, he has taught uh, what acceptance in real terms so i'm very very thankful to you about to you sir thank you so much for any more queries please message in our group or contact me personally thank you